names are in here. We school I'm Here we are basically doing civil, civil engineering. As you know, civil engineering is actually is a way of bringing so, bring solutions to to humanity, to modern modern society, so they can coexist co 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 well with things in the environment around them. Civil engineering is actually a, but then about the environment around around us as a human. So here we basically do some design drawings, structural drawings for mass storage buildings. We also try to come out from the office in good position of the construction. And also come out to bring solutions to what's happening. Like now we have the floods, we have what's called the rain, the runoffs on the ground. So we are trying to come out with a solution how we can harvest this rainwater for the utility of human humanity when it comes to the where trout spare. Instead of just leaving this water to flow to the lake or to seep down with the soil, we have to make sure that it is retained within the uh, monument, uh, monument uh, underground reservoirs so that in future, when we have the trout, we can pump this water, can be used for domestic use, that's for livestock, for education purposes, and for the human, human needs. As, as a civil engineer, I'm here to bring solutions to entire humanity, to make the environment around him to okay, coexist friendly with the human, rather than uh, make the environment to be harsh, like what's happening in, uh, if you call it the side of Macarini, you call it the side of, uh, of the Tana River, water has bring havoc to the human existence. There's no harmony between water and human humanity. So as a civil engineer, I have to bring a balance between uh, uh, the water bodies and the human existence. For water is actually 80% of the existence of the entire universe. For the existence, 80% of the existence of the entire earth, as in the earth, the, the earth or the, the solid earth, the solid crown or the solid mother is around 20%. And uh, the fluid, which is basically water, is around 80%. So actually, the support, the supportness, human being supported by the by water. So water is, should be accommodated for human utility, for our coexistence, rather than bring havoc, bring a uh, 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 kind of undesirable environment to us. So as a civil engineer, I have to bring solution to it, so that we have a water for the human coexistence and for the human harmony. And that's what we have to try to call to Tana River, to educate the entire public of Tana River, to educate the entire public of Kilivi County, and even the Lamu, the Lamu people, even the people, people are suffering from what we call the them mudslide or the landslide. We have to tell the people to bring out what you call a uh, harmon coexistence within the environment. For example, like planting of trees, uh, making the soil to become a bit uh, or a, a, a bit, uh, a bit uh, apple to seep water to underground reservoirs, or even making the, the ground itself to, to be able to retain water underground rather than water to flow. Landscaping of the, of the earth, so that we, landscaping of the earth, so that we can have the higher point, the lower points, having strategic water reservoirs. So that when we have the floods coming from the river side, from the wet, wet, wet area zones, water can come and accumulate somewhere. As in due time, as water starts accumulating, people will be prepared psychologically to leave that place to move to the higher crowds. That's what we need to do. There are other more ideas as civil engineers, as we can sit together, we solicit for the ideas from different, different great thinkers and different thinkers. As a civil engineers, we can come up with the good ideas which can solve this in harmony or this uh, in balance between the water bodies and the human existence. And I'm, pro I'm, I'm, I'm keeping this. Um, I'm a voice to my fellow engineers. I'm a voice to the people who have the good ideas so that we can come out to solve this problem. When water is not there, my country, Kenya, it's always in a hard work again. Okay? There's a lot of farming, livestock, there's, there's a livestock thing, the, the, the existence between the humanity and the nature becomes in terrible. This death of livestock, this death of humanity, loss of life, the economic crops. 
But when, 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 when what is there now in mass is also havoc, where can we find happiness? Let engineers and more engineers of my, of all have the same idea like mine. Let's come together on the same common table so that we can bring solution to this, this problem that's, that's happening now. It's possible. It was possible for people to use to, who are saying the moon. They were saying, what is that? It was possible for them to go to the moon. It's possible to have solution for the Danaliba problem. It's possible for us to have prop, to have to make the beauty, to landscape the beauty of Dana River and to make it to be to be even a tourist attraction, a spot where people can go relax and enjoy life. Rather than people are running away from it. Thank you. That's what I have for you people. Give you pleasant place. Come and sit down. My name is Daniel from Hong I'm a civil.